Hello friends, I'm back with another artful box and this quarter's theme is gouache. For those of you who don't know what gouache is, it's a water-based paint that almost acts like watercolour except instead of being translucent it can be applied on thicker and more opaque. I've never actually tried gouache before but I'm really looking forward to try it in this box. As I open the box, there is the regular things such as how to upgrade and how to share your work. I was really pleased to see that the paints were the first thing you open in the box. I really liked the way that they were packaged up in this cardboard slash paper packaging. Overall, in my first impressions, I thought there was a good range of colours provided. So there is 12 paints in this set and they are 25 millilitres. I liked that there was a good range of primaries in this set as well as white, black and brown as I tend to use these quite often as well as some nice bonus colours such as a lovely vibrant green, purple, rich pink, orange and a warm yellow. I thought that the tubes that were provided were a reasonably good size for this art set and definitely enough to experiment with as they can go quite far with water. Next up was this F pencil. This is really good for light sketches for your painting, so it's quite handy to have in this box. Artful have also provided a nice pad of paper, which is a mixed media pad of 300 GSM and 25 sheets. So this is nice thick paper to work on and should hopefully cope well with the water and the gouache that I'll apply to the paper later on. As always, Artful have provided four blank greetings cards which you can make your art on, which is pretty cool and I think it's a nice touch. Next up was the brushes in the Artful set. I found it interesting that in this quarter's box it came in a drawstring branded bag, where normally the brushes come in loose in the box, so this is quite a nice addition. The first brush in the set that I picked up was this number three angled brush which is really good for painting and clean edges. The next brush I picked up is this really fine detailed brush. This is a half size brush and it's used for really small details so I was pleased that this was included. The next brush is a number one brush and it's used for smooth lines due to its long bristles. Finally, the last brush is a number three round brush and this is also used for details. Finally, a magazine is provided in this art box which tells you all about the supplies you have as well as different techniques you can use as well as artists to inspire you. Next up, I just flick through the magazine quickly just so you can get a flavour of the types of art that's inside as well as tutorials and artists. Now the box is all opened up, it's time for swatching. As I was putting the colours down onto paper, I was actually really surprised with how vibrant the colours were and how far they go with just a touch of water. Overall, I do like their selection of colours and their vibrancy, but I maybe would have preferred more earthy colours instead of pumpkin, raspberry jam and lavender. Now the swatches have dried, you can see how they look in comparison to the tubes. You can see the swatches are a lot more vibrant than the tubes, so this is worth bearing in mind as I think the tubes look nice aesthetically, but they're not the exact colour. Now the swatches are all done, it's time to put these paints to the test and actually do a painting. If you've seen some of my review videos before, you'll probably notice that I try to pick a really vibrant test subject as I want to use as many of the paints as I can in order to give a good review. So for this particular painting, I decided to paint a rooster. The background of this rooster had a brick wall behind it, so I used a variety of oranges, yellows and reds to create this burnt brick look in the background. 
I really liked the way I could build it up just like with watercolours as I could add water wherever I thought it needed it to make it more translucent or areas where I wanted to paint over I could just use less water and paint over them like I would do with acrylic. I really liked how the gouache blended on my paint palette as I found it really easy to pick different colours that I wanted to use. Next up I started on painting the rooster with a little bit of diluted post box red and then I started fleshing out the rest of this rooster with sand and sunflower. I was really pleased with the yellow in this set, the sunflower, as it's so vibrant and sunny just like its name. So in this part of the process I'm just putting those base colours down to get rid of the white in the background. Once I was relatively happy with those areas it was time to go in with Kingfisher and Ultramarine as this rooster had really vibrant tail feathers. I also added a touch of Midnight Black in order to give a sense of depth as well as shadow. For this painting I mainly used the number 3 round brush for the rooster and the number 3 angle brush for the bricks. I just find that round brushes are a lot easier for these fine fine details especially for the feathers. Once I was relatively happy with the tail feathers it was time to get rid of that last bit of white empty space with a mixture of the white and black in this set to create a concrete effect. Next up I went in to really refine those fine fine details by giving some depth with some shadow as well as highlights. For these details I decided to switch to the number 0.5 brush. This was really great in allowing me to get those feathery fine details and I'm glad they provided it in the set. Overall I found Artful's brushes really nice to work with and I've definitely set them aside for the special painting projects. As you can see by going in with the detail brush and adding in some shadows it's really made this rooster come to life and look a lot more 3D. As someone who normally paints with acrylics and occasionally watercolours I was really pleased with how this gouache paint worked. It definitely had the best of both elements in terms of its use. I was also pleased with the brushes that were provided as I tend to use round brushes for most of my work. I also liked the colours that were provided mainly because I didn't struggle to make any of the colours that I wanted for this painting. So overall if you're thinking of getting this set I definitely recommend it. If you've enjoyed this video be sure to let me know as I'd appreciate it and also check out these review videos right here.